What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the next episode. Here we are about to go and check on, uh, what's going on with these slavers here in this town. And, uh, see if that, um, officer is really one of them, or what's going on. So let's get to it. Oh, one second. All right, looks like we gotta go back here. Deputy seemed pretty edgy. I think something is going to happen soon. Really? I wouldn't feed Didn't your you say that the last time you dog. came by? I'm telling you, I think this is it. Just There's try been some to get stranger out of around I offering to help. You. Things are going to happen. Okay. Don't be dumb swine. What are you hiding for? Set it ablaze. We yet. It's about time. I assume the Duke sent you? I am his personal messenger, you know. Well, what are you waiting for? Untie me! Hmm, first tell us why you came here. Why'd you come to this village? I had a message for the constable. Not that it's any business of yours. Sir Hughes of the Knights of the Flame sent me with clear orders. The message is for the constable's ears only. Hmm, sounds like you'd rather stay here. No, please, I'll tell you. Not like it's a really important secret or anything. Sir Hughes just takes himself a little too seriously. The message was just that Dame Dabien of the Knights of the Flame was coming to help with security. Okay, did you tell the constable? No, I never got the chance. Okay. I had to talk to my friend first. Well, I didn't have to, I suppose. Anyways, that's when the slavers attacked. Will you untie me now? Sure. I'll go talk to the constable right away. Okay, we'll let you out. Uh, straight to the constable, though. Let's follow this guy. And... Just try to get out of there. I dare you. What now? Okay. I wouldn't feed your corpses to my dog. This young man is lucky to be alive, though I'm not sure he realizes it. He told me about the message from the castle. The whole thing just seems a little too convenient though, doesn't it? I can't release Dame Dabien, not yet. Even with the proof of her innocence though, you're up to something. My duty is to ensure the safety of this village, and my gut's telling me that she's part of the threat. Too many coincidences. If we can get the village secure, we can revisit the matter. Right now, I need to deal with this ship. What's the problem with the ship? The slavers are on board. The captain claims he's not with them, but I know the truth. He's asking me to send the town guard to help him clear the slavers from below decks. It's clearly some kind of trap. We're not falling for it. Okay, what if he's telling the truth? He's not, but even if he was, it wouldn't be my problem. My duty is to the village, not his ship. Bottom line, he needs to turn his ship around and head back out to sea. If not, we'll just sink it right here. That'll solve a slaver problem. Okay, we'll talk to the captain. You do that. Soon as we can ensure the town's in no immediate danger, we can talk about releasing your friend from the stocks. All right. Go see. In all my years sailing these seas, I've never received such ill treatment in a friendly port. My men lie here bleeding on deck and we are refused aid. 
This man they call Constable is the son of a dog. Or did he change his mind? Didn't change his mind. Uh, Constable Pascal says, uh, you're working with the slavers. I'd sooner eat sand than do business with these Dunmer swine. I have explained this. Last night was dark. When I realized there was no beacon to mark the shore, I dropped anchor. The slavers came in longboats. They caught us unawares. But you managed to fight them off. It was a daring battle. The slavers outnumbered us ten to one. But we'd planned for this. We lured them below decks and sealed the hatch. Many men were lost, though. We here on deck are all that remain, and we need aid. Can you help us? Do we have anything to prove your claims? Yes, of course. I would gladly give my ledger over, but unfortunately it is below decks. This is why I've asked the constable to assist us in eliminating these Dunmer dogs. But he has refused. Huh. I'm afraid we're at a stalemate in this respect. Why would he refuse? Okay, let's go down there and get the ledger. You are brave. Perhaps even a little foolhardy. But I like you. Though I fear for your safety down there, I will not stand in your way. If you return with the ledger, I will be forever in your debt. Cool. The constable says, I'm ready. He's got a plan. He's got a plan? Right, we got the ledger. I guess we take it straight to the constable. We shouldn't give him this. <laughs> I feel like we shouldn't give him this. The captain still refuses to leave? Alright, then we'll do this the hard way. I'll call together the rest of the guard. No, he's not with the slavers. This ledger proves it. You have the ship's ledger? The captain said it was lost below decks. We'll have to study this, but I'll be honest, I'm extremely skeptical this will prove anything completely. Okay, at least you can release the knight. No. What? I'm sorry, we just can't take that risk. I dreamed about all of this, you see. The slavers, the ship, the knight. Dreamed? Knights. They were all working together. Even the blacksmith. I've known her for years. So now he's dreaming. He's under. He's a dreamer. He's under uh, guise of Nymina. He's uh. You're, he's being controlled by Daedra. Yes, Sabisa the blacksmith too. And I don't care how it sounds. Defending the village is the highest priority, and we need weapons for that. Sabisa is refusing to supply us. She's leaving me no option but to have her arrested. No, we shouldn't. You shouldn't get any. Okay. And you want us to talk to her? Actually, I prefer you didn't. I appreciated your objective oh, really? first, but I must admit I am beginning to question your intentions. Oh. I prefer if you simply left town. Oh. We should just kill you. You realize you sound paranoid? You don't know what you're talking about. Paranoid. If you saw what I saw, I dreamed about this. Every last detail. You think that was just a coincidence? No way. No, this guy, no. This guy can die. First chance we get. Constable Pascal sent you here with orders to open the forge. You can just turn around and head right back out the door. That man has no right to order me around, and I'm not about to issue weapons for his witch hunt. Okay, well, we came with a warning, and he's planning to arrest you. Arrest me? 
That beef-witted bastard. To think I even cooked that man breakfast. What an breakfast. oblivion's gotten into him. First he arrests a knight of the flame, and now me? You were you two were close? We were friends for years, and then one night well, I guess you don't need the details. Mm. For a month or two I thought we had something. Then he just broke it off. Wouldn't even let me in his house to talk. He acted like I had betrayed him. He mentioned something about his dreams. He did? He was having trouble sleeping. You know, I saw one of those weird cult <clears throat> members leaving his house. The Supernal Dreamers. You don't think that has anything to do with this? Who are the Supernal Dreamers? Don't know much about them, really. I think they're dedicated to some Daedric Prince. They're crazy people. Someone saw a group of them in the hills to the north. And then there was that one who visited the constable. That's really all I know. Okay. We'll go investi investigate the constable's house, see what's Good up. Good idea. Perhaps there's some indication of why Pascal's behaving this way. He's just not himself. I'll talk to some of the other townspeople. I bet some of them have noticed his behavior as well. Okay. Let's get into this guy's house. You know there's creepy writings in there. Oh, there it is. Then why the it's constable locked? have her locked Horse. up? You don't have an answer for that, do you? I don't understand the constable's reasoning, but I have enough sense to realize that something's not right here. Just lock picked into that man's house. See what's in here in a club insignia. Club insignia. Whoa. Dramora. Oh. Oh, we can't put away our weapon. What's going on? Okay. A Daedric symbol. Oh. Oh, I guess he was, uh... That was corrupting his dream. Let's go talk to the blacksmiths. I'm surprised they're not meeting us right outside the door. There's only one Dramora in there. Turns out that almost everyone in town thinks Pascal's been acting strange. Even the guards. Did you find anything that explains his behavior? Uh, there was a Dramora in uh, this Daedric symbol on his bed. Oh, my poor little Pascal. What a mess you've made. One thing's for sure. We need to put an end to all these wicked accusations he's been making. I'll tell you one thing. Um, we're still gonna kill him. If we get the chance. Okay, so, and we, we need to release Dame Bien from the stocks. Indeed. As I said, even the town guards knew something was amiss. I told them to be ready. I suppose Pascal will probably have to be restrained. Or killed. Oh well. Best thing for unpleasant work is just to get it over with. Let's go. Easy. Let's do it. Oh, she's out. Oh, they, they let her out. Oh, my aching neck. I haven't been this sore in years. Oh, but freedom sure does feel good. This situation was more dangerous than I realized. You went way beyond the call of duty here, friend. I can't adequately express my gratitude. Sussy Amogus Pascal? Okay, well, we're glad it was all straightened out. Not as glad as I am, believe me. It seems I'll need to take over security here in the village. And with those slavers out there, I need to get busy. First, though, I'm gonna see if someone around here can give me a massage. Okay, you do that. 
The villagers may not realize it, but you saved this town from crumbling into chaos. I mentioned before that I came from Alcair Castle. The situation there is critical, and I think you might be able to make a difference. What's the problem at Alcair? I could give you a list, to be sure, but my concerns are more general. There are rumors of assassins and spies in the castle, and as I was leaving, I heard something about a Red Guard army marching in that direction. Why would the Red Guards be marching? Good question. We're all part of the Daggerfall Covenant, right? Maybe it was a false report. All the same, you should go. Talk to Messenger Cordier when you get there. I asked him to announce your coming to Duke Nathaniel. Okay, we'll look for him at the castle. Not so fine, are you now? Oh, they've got him locked up. Hey, let's go. That's right, sir. Anything? Can we speak to him? I guess we can't speak to him. That's fine. Out of my way. I'm getting out of here. Don't mind if we do. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, well, what do you know? We're at the keep. What? King Baharajad! Damn foreigners. We've had nothing but trouble ever since the Duke married King Baharajad's daughter. And now they bring an army to our doorstep and expect the Knights of the Flame to just stand aside. Uh, what's going on here? Envoy Dorima marches up with an army claiming she's on a diplomatic mission from King Baharajad of Alakir. She says her message is for Duke Nathaniel alone and demands entry. All I have to say is over my dead body. Okay, well, couldn't she come in alone? My mission is clear. No one from the Red Guard camp allowed in the castle. I'm a Knight of the Flame, and I will enforce that directive to my dying breath. Sir Hughes is the head of our order. If you have concerns, speak to him inside the castle. Okay, we'll find him. Oh, gall and pox! Dame Dabien wanted me to tell the Duke you were coming here. You saved me back in Coglin Village. I'm the messenger, the one in the warehouse. And you forgot. I'm sorry. I got back here and I had to tell my parents and my friends about the slaver attack down at the village. And then it just completely slipped my mind. Not much point in doing it now. I can't believe I forgot to announce you to the Duke. I really am sorry. I hope you can forgive me. Okay. Well, this is the second message you forgot to deliver, friend. Oh, yeah. I forgot to deliver the message to the constable in Coglin Village as well. That's actually kind of funny, isn't it? Unless... Are you frustrated with me? Uh, yeah, you're a terrible messenger. I know. You're right. I've never been a very good messenger. I always wanted to be a king, or a duke, or what? something more important. But here I am. You can't even be a messenger. I'm doing my best. Please don't tell anyone about this. I'll do better next time, I promise. Sure. You're welcome to Alcair Castle. I'm sure you noticed King Faharajad's army camped outside our walls, so you can understand why Duke Nathaniel is not entertaining guests. I should hope you're not here to add to our troubles. Yeah, we're more here to help. <laughs> Don't hear that too often, but it's most welcome. If blood gets spilled here, it could destroy the fragile alliance holding together the Daggerfall Covenant. We need to defuse this situation as quickly as possible. Okay, well, letting the Red Guard envoy in would probably be a good start. Damn it. 
Dame Follett is holding the envoy up at the gate, isn't she? Oh, uh, yeah? Never questioning orders is Follett's strength and her weakness. I'll have to send word to make an exception. Meantime, I actually have a task you'd be well suited for. Sure, what can we do? It's a sensitive matter. We've intercepted secret messages to King Farhajad from someone inside the castle who goes by the alias of Almondine. My hope is that a little research in the library might reveal where this term comes from. Alright, we can check the library. Unfortunately, the Duke requires that he personally approve all visitors to the library. And he can't know about this. The library guard, Sir Gregory. Perhaps you can persuade him to look the other way. Or, failing that, to leave his post. Uh, we'll see what we can do. Again, you must keep this quiet. The Duke is already overwhelmed and hearing about a spy inside the castle might push him over the edge. Get past Sir Gregory and into the library. Find out who Almondine is and report back to me personally. Okay. Uh, what does the Duke plan to do about the Red Guard army? For better or worse, the Duke defers to me on the matter for now. Nathaniel shares King Emmerich's bloodline, but not his talent for calm under pressure. Of course, the Duke's wife being King Faharajad's daughter doesn't make matters easier. Okay, the Duchess is from Alakir. Indeed. Duchess Lakana is one of King Faharajad's youngest daughters. They say he was quite fond of her. She doesn't speak of her father much, but I think those ties run deeper than she lets on. So why don't you just order Sir Gregory to let us into the library? I cannot defy the Duke's orders. Not with an army at the gates. You can. One thing that might help, Sir Gregory is insanely jealous of his wife. In his mind, she would be the sheath to every knight's blade. Oh god. You hear it from me. God. Uh, okay. Hold it right there! This is Duke Nathaniel's personal library. No access without his express permission. And if in case of emergency? If it's an emergency, you want the armory, not the library. It's just books in there. Honestly, I don't know why the Duke's so worried about it, but he is. If I let you in, I'd be kicked out of the castle. Probably my wife, too. Oh, your wife works here? No, I couldn't ask her to work. She wouldn't like that. She might even leave me. No, she spends most of her time in the market. Too much time, if you ask me. I can't stand the way all those merchants look at her. The other knights, too. Okay. After all the gold I've spent here, you'd think these backwater merchants would be more grateful. No patience whatsoever. I miss city life. I miss way rest. By the way, have you seen Sir Higgins? Nope. Why do you ask? Oh, Sir Higgins is such a gentleman. I'm just waiting for him to come and help me carry all these groceries home. Oh. Okay. Unless the Duke himself tells me to make an exception, the library is off limits. You know Sir Higgins? Everyone does. That damn man gets away with murder. Sir Hughes has him patrolling inside the castle walls. He basically just lollygags around the market, flirting with women. Why do you ask? Uh, he was escorting your wife from the market. My wife? Vendi? That motherless louse! His escorting days will come to a swift end when I break his kneecaps! Do it. Do that. Break his kneecaps. This ledger contains various numbers and informations dealing with taxes. The numbers vary a little from year to year, although recently Duke Nathaniel purchased several lots of fine ales and wines. The book contains a list of names dating back 
several years. The majority of the names are Breton. There are no Orc or Redguard names on the list. Hmm. Royal line lineage of Sentinel. No, O oh beloved reader, that the lineage of, all, of our all beneficent king is more loyal, to, more loyal, most loyal, excuse me, descending as he does from High King Ar Azal to King Jafur, Fence Grady, well, Makala, okay, who did marry the Grandia Fenesh of Anthephilos? Thus endowing the line of the Fidolic blood of the Mer Meridic Meridius Zazine? Hmm, these names. His Royal Majesty King Faharjad was the only issue was the only issue of the ever virtuous Makala and Fanesh. In good time Faharjad, yet a young prince, did take a wife, did take to wife Zarifa the flower of Teneth. And she bore him three fine children, alas, the flower of Teneth, lost her life giving birth to, the, birth to the third child, and was mourned by all red guards of Hammerfell. Nonetheless, his royal majesty, ever glorious descendancy, is assured in the persons of his eldest daughter, Marara, Mararia, Maraya, Mara, Mar 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 <laughs> the jewel of Satakalam. Jeez, these names. His second daughter, Lakana, the star of the Aldamin, the Almandine, the young crown prince Aza, the lion of Athipulos. Terrible. Terrible. Check these uh, bookshelves. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Sometimes a true knight must undertake a mission that requires reading books rather than slaying monsters. Such is what I asked of you. Did you learn anything in the library? Almondine is Duchess Lacana herself. I feared as much. We have to proceed carefully now. We don't want to alert the Duchess or King Faharajah to the fact that we know about the secret communications. I hate to say it, but I'm going to have to speak with the Duke about this. The fact that the Duchess is sending secret letters to her father is serious cause for concern. Hmm. We need to know exactly what they're planning, though. What do you propose? After speaking with King Faharajah's envoy, Duchess Lakana asked to go out and negotiate with the Redguard General herself. Clearly, we can't allow that. We could the deliver. Is refusing to let the envoy leave to deliver her message. Hmm. We could deliver the message. My thoughts exactly, and in so doing, you would win her confidence. You already helped get the envoy through the gate, so Lakana will be inclined to trust you. Go speak with her upstairs. Do whatever you must to learn her plans. Okay, we'll report back. How can we just go into her room? Who's this creep? Tarima told me you spoke to Sir Hughes about Dame Follett. Thank you. You don't know what a relief it is to have her here. I am an outsider in Alcair Castle, with no one I can fully trust. Sometimes I even wonder if I can trust the Duke. Why? Because there have been several attempts made on my life, all from someone within these walls. Hmm. An alakir poison intended for my lips killed one of my tasters just a few days ago. Huh. Why would someone want to kill you? There are many rivals for the throne in Alakir. They despise the Covenant, and they would kill me to destroy it. My father has been trying to identify the assassins. I must speak with General Thoda at the camp outside, but I am forbidden. I see. So if you wish, we could be your messenger. Can I trust you? You did intercede on our behalf with Sir Hughes. Very well. But General Thoda will not expect you. 
You will need to get his attention. It may be difficult, but if you could best some of his warriors, he will want to see you. Okay, we'll get General Thoda's attention then. Shouldn't be a problem. Thank you. Things are truly desperate when a daughter of King Faharajad must rely on the generosity of a stranger. But I do believe in you. The future of the Covenant and my life depends on you. Rupka, go with you, friend. Okay. We cannot believe one of our own is behind the attacks on Duchess Lakana. There must be some other explanation. There has to be. Her voice is so soft. Whoa. All right, let's go and, uh... Beat up these warriors. This little pipsqueak walking through our camp. Oh. Perhaps I turn you into a pincushion. Oh, draw your blade. Let's see how tough you really are. Nothing would please me more. Let Don't die us too quickly. Dance, then. <laughs> Not bad. Didn't think so. What have we here? You come strutting through our camp with such attitude? Perhaps someone needs to teach you a lesson. We're always up for a fight. Let's see it. As am I. Watch and see a true warrior in action. Sure. Let us dance then. My sword arm has had little practice since coming to Stormhaven. You look like you might make good sport. No, we could take you. You think so? Then let's find out. Let us dance then. <laughs> Not bad. You should walk with more respect. You are in a camp full of soldiers who've been sitting still too long. Someone may decide to use you for sword practice. Okay, draw your blade, buddy. Let's see. Nothing would please me more. Let us dance there. <laughs> not bad. This is a military camp, not fit for the likes of you. Be on your way, little one. You want to fight? Very well. We shall see who fights best. That Let we us will. Dance then. Well fought. Hmm. You don't look so dangerous. Yet you waltz into my camp and pick fights with my soldiers. Tell me why I should not simply cut off your head where you stand. Because you would probably die and we didn't pick any fights. Your soldiers picked the fights and we just obliged. And the Duke, the Duchess uh, Lakana sent us anyway. The Princess? She is alright then. That is good. King Faharajad sent me to protect her. But there is little I can do from out here. I do not wish to start a war, but I will if my king orders it. I await new orders even now. Spicy. So do you know who tried to poison her? Ah, yes indeed. The poison maker was quite stubborn, but he spoke a name with his dying breath. It means nothing to me, though. He said, Follett. Name Follett? Mm, she's one of the Knights of the Flame. She is. Then she is in the castle. Go then, quickly. Tell the Kana so that she may be prepared for this wench assassin. I cannot go wench with, assassin. so you must protect her. Okay. 
Wench assassin. We'll get there and, um... We'll get there and she'll be being attacked, probably. Or something like that. Or not. to see you returned. I fear I might have asked too much. Tell me, though, did General Thoda have any new insights into the source of these assassination attempts? That Dame Follett pur purchased uh, the poison. What? The Knights of the Flame are sworn to protect me. <clears throat> Why would one try to take my life? I know Dame Follett spoke out against my marriage to the Duke, but I can't imagine how that could motivate her to murder. I hope Dame Follett was acting alone in this. If there is a wider conspiracy, I fear for what that might mean for our future. General Thoda suggested that you leave this castle? No, this will not do. To run would be to surrender to this madwoman's hatred. Follett is the one who must pay. Though I don't always agree with him, Sir Hughes is a good man and I trust him. Tell him of Follett's betrayal, he will see justice served. Stay here and we'll find Sir Hughes. I can't believe my suspicions were so far from the truth. The assassin being a Breton only makes this situation more volatile. Please, tell Sir Hughes and ask him to resolve this matter swiftly. Okay, it's not really a question of why it being a Breton trying to assassinate a Red Guard makes it more volatile, but let's ask anyway, why is it more volatile? Because it has greater potential for destroying the Daggerfall Covenant. My choice to go to my father for help rather than the Knights of the Flame only made matters worse. I'm sorry for that now. Hmm. But that's how you learned it was Dame Follett. Indeed. But perhaps it would have been better if Sir Hughes had uncovered that truth. Right, right. No time for regrets, though. We will do this properly now. Let Sir Hughes handle it. It is what's best for the Covenant. I trust you've earned the Duchess' confidence by now. That's good. Have you been able to learn why she was conspiring with her father? Uh, yeah, she feared for her life. They're trying to kill her. After the attempt on her life, that makes sense, but why go to her father? The Knights of the Flame are here to protect her. That makes no sense. Why would he send an army here? The Assassin's poison came from Alakir. The Duchess said so herself. Well, it was Dame Follett who purchased the poison. Dame Follett? Are you... are you certain? That's a grave accusation. Of course she was opposed to the marriage. We'll have to question her, but sending a Knight of the Flame to apprehend her might not be wise. What? That would... well... Yeah, maybe... maybe they're in on it. But we can do it. I was hoping you might volunteer. That would help... avoid a scene. Follett's home is north of the inn. If you'll go there first, I'll get some of my men and come as backup. Okay. I mean, I imagine that she sees us and she's like, uh, who the hell are you? You're not arresting me. You have no authority. Like, who are you? At least if it was one of her knights, then she would know that, okay, like... They maybe have the authority to arrest her. Oh, of course. Of course. She won't even talk. If this is what it's come down to, then so be it. Lady, you don't want to do this. And she's dead. That is the end of that. Where's Follett? 
Did she run? Nope, she attacked and we killed her. I'm sorry to hear that. You did what had to be done, and I suppose her reaction merely proves her guilt. Uh, yeah, I think. I wish I could say there was no longer cause for concern. Somehow, though, I just don't think that's the case. Something about all this just isn't adding up. Yeah, it's hard to believe she's acting alone. Indeed. I would very much like to discuss this with you further, but not inside the castle. My home is past the market. If you'll give me a moment to settle matters here and check on the Duchess, I'll meet you there and we can talk. See you soon. Whoa. You! Did Sir Hughes send you to kill me? No, why would we want to kill you? You're not here to... Oh, merciful Stendar! Lakana! Sir Hughes is checking on her right now. She's, uh, safe. No, she's not safe. Hughes is going to kill her. He's crazy. Something about his dreams. Uh. If you don't believe me, check his journal. He was writing all about it. First, though, untie oh. me. I have to get back to the castle and warn Lakana. Hold still. His journal. Ninth of first seed. This is the third week of these nightmares. Versions of Alcare Castle burning. Riots led by one of our own. A face so similar, but I can't see it clearly. I know this will happen if I don't do something. By the gods, am I a prophet now? I must be mad. First seed. 23rd. I recognize the face in my dreams. The one who led Alcar Castle to burn. Duke's new wife. It's the Duke's new wife, Lakana. Oh. She will eventually betray us. I know this now. Do a first C24. I have to stop this nightmare from coming true. I've asked Dame Fala to deal with. Wow. To deal with the Duchess. But even she seems to have doubts if she could only see what I've seen. 29th. Follett botched the job and killed the poor food taster. I can't trust her. Too many innocents could get hurt. Only Lakana should die. Wow, the second of Rain's hand. King Faharjad has sent an army to our gates. My dream is coming true by the eight. We have to find a way to stop this. 10th Rain's hand. It's all clear to me now. The vision... The vision is a sign for me and me alone. I must do this myself. Divines forgive me, but this is all for Elcare. Wow. Scumbag. By the gods! They've murdered the Duchess! What? They've murdered the Duchess? You're kidding me. Wow. What is it? Wow. This body is still warm to the touch. The blade in its back bears the sigil of the Knights of the Flame. This weapon obviously belonged to Sir Hughes. Wow. She cannot be dead. This cannot be real. I, Lakana. You! You spoke with her, didn't you? What do you know of this? Tell me! Yes, Sir Hughes is responsible. Sir Hughes? Was he mad? He was supposed to protect her. How will I explain this to Lakana's father? Ooh. To his sister? It'll be war. Lakana would never hurt anyone. She was innocent. My beloved wife. It'll be I war. I understand. Sir Hughes served me for so many years. Loyally. Faithfully. Why would he murder my wife? His dream suggested Lakana would destroy Alcair Castle. Dreams? That maniac murdered my wife on the basis of a dream? He will die for this! Right. You must help me find him. He's probably gone to Firebrand Keep. Please, do it for Lakana. Find Hughes and kill him! Yep. On it. Definitely on it.
rare for General Thoda to offer a word of praise, but he speaks highly of you. Don't mind if I do. Or... There we are. Let's get over to the keep. Ooh, don't mind if I do. We'll eat this stink horn. Looking for Sir Hughes, aren't you? Get in line! We've been waiting for him to come and clarify our orders for days. He returned, all right, but mumbling incoherently. Know what that means? Just more confusion. I think Hughes has lost it. You're definitely right about that. He murdered the Duchess Lacana. The Duchess is dead? Hughes killed her? Oh, for Mara's sake, I didn't think he was that crazy. I guess that explains why his orders were so confusing. Good thing we didn't march on the Red Guards at Alcair Castle. You're... yeah, that would... you're gonna... wow. So, I guess if Sir Hughes killed the Duchess then, crazy or not, the Duke is gonna want him to answer for that. I guess this means we're gonna have to find a new leader. Yeah, the Red Guards are gonna march on you now. Where is Sir Hughes? He went into the keep. Sir Croy might be protecting him, though. Finding Hughes may be difficult until we clear up all the confusion here. You should talk to Sir Edmund. He's just up the steps. Taking us. If you've come to Firebrand Keep to petition for help from the Knights of the Flame, I'm afraid you'll be disappointed. Our leader, Sir Hughes, seems to have gone mad, and the Knights are divided over whether or not to follow his last order. Yeah, well, Sir Hughes definitely went mad. He killed the Duchess Lacana. This is far worse than I thought, and makes our cause all the more critical. Sir Hughes just returned to the Keep acting strangely. He's in there with Sir Croy. Who is making preparations to attack the Red Guards at Alcare Castle? Okay, well, we definitely have to stop them. Indeed. Myself and these others were exiled for standing against Sir Croy, but we are too few at present to retake the keep. There are other knights in the keep who are questioning Sir Croy. Could you go in and look for those who would join us? We'll rally knights to the cause. I hear King Faharajad's been plotting to take over Alcair for years. Yeah, they plan to uh, attack the Red Guards. And that's not right, so... Come help Sir Edmund and I retake the keep. You would have me disobey direct orders and turn against Sir Croy? You sound like that coward, Sir Edmund. You are an enemy to the Order and I will see you slain. I'm glad that you said that because... The fact that you said... You were taken back by us asking you to disobey the direct orders from Sir Croy was going to have me kill you right after this conversation. I was going to kill you anyway. Loyalty will prevail. Right. If you refuse, you're gonna die. How about that? I'm a knight of the flame. We're sworn to protect all care. It's not right to attack the Red Guards. Help us retake the keep. You would have me disobey direct orders and turn against Sir Croy? That's right. Loyalty will prevail. If all care falls, what's next? Way rest? If these Red Guards mean to invade, we have to stop them here. No, it's, it's not right to attack the Red Guards. Come help them retake the keep. You would have me disobey directly. Really? Orders. Loyalty will prevail. It's the end of that. I never thought I'd see the day when Firebrand Keep was divided. 
These are dark times indeed. Okay, well, it's not right to attack the Red Guard, so come help me and Sir Edmund retake the keep. You would have me disobey direct orders. Yes. And loyalty will prevail. If Sir Hughes really wants us to go to war, I prefer he told us himself. Yeah, it's not right to, to attack the Red Guards anyway, so come help us retake the keep with Sir Edmund. You're right. This doesn't make any sense at all. My duty is to do what's right, not to blindly follow orders. Right. I'm with you. Right. What about you? If Sir Hughes really wants us to go to war, you're right. Got another one. I didn't join the Knights of the Flame to sit on my hands. If I die in the coming battle, at least I'll go down fighting. You would have me disobey direct loyalty will prevail. Sounds like you're about to die. If Alcare is truly threatened, regardless of where it comes from, I will defend it to the death. Okay, let's see what right. this guy says. This doesn't make any sense at all. Oh, we got another one? And... Oh, we got two at once. Okay. <clears throat> I knew more of my fellow knights would come to see the insanity Sir Croy means to unleash at Alkir Castle. I think we have enough knights now to retake the keep. I've sent them to take up strategic positions. So are we ready to attack? Indeed. Taking up arms against our fellow knights is something I know none of us wishes to do. But Sir Croy has forced this upon us. This is unpleasant business, but let's get on with it. Let's do it. I've told the knights positioned around the castle to attack on our signal. There's a siege horn mounted atop Firebrand Keep's main hall. If you are willing, I would ask you to go there and blow the horn. That will signal everyone to attack. Okay, we'll blow the horn, so be ready. We caught them by surprise, and I think we have the upper hand. I've been wounded, though. I don't think I'd be of any more use in the battle. No, you've done enough. I've done what I could, but I failed to find Sir Croy. Now I fear he would best me quite easily. I need you to do this. I believe the other knights will stand down if we can defeat Sir Croy. Will you face him for me? Simple. Where is he? He's in the Eastern Garrison. Kill him. Put an end to this. Easy. There's another siege horn on top of the garrison. When Croy is killed, blow that horn. The knights will pause, and I'll use that moment to call for an end to the fighting. Gotcha. Really gonna chase us? Light it! Scatter! The friendship gate. Spread out! I guess it's supposed to be a gate of friendship between the Bretons and the Red Guards. I need to or a covenant and a covenant, I guess, maybe. No, that doesn't sound right.
it's Croy. At last. The outsider who rallies my knights to rebellion. I'm going to enjoy this. I'm going to enjoy dying. Right. Anyway. Into that donkey. Who's this? Okay. I grieve for Sir Croy and all those who died fighting for him. But there was no other way to save the Knights of the Flame. Thank you for doing what I could not. Battle's over now, right? Indeed. With Sir Croy slain, I am assuming command of Firebrand Keep for now. Needless to say, preparations to march to Alcare Castle have been called off. Alrighty. Killing my fellow knights to restore order was hard enough. But this matter with Sir Hughes is unthinkable. He's down in the infirmary. I'm told he was raving about killing the Duchess before he fell unconscious. I, I don't know what to do. Kill him? No, oh, we'll handle it. The Duke sent us here to find him. Then I suppose you must. Whatever crimes he may be guilty of, you should know that Sir Hughes was always an honorable knight. I simply must believe that his recent actions are caused by some form of insanity. Uh, we'll take that into account. So where's the infirmary? The infirmary is below the Great Hall. Speak to the healer there, Odette. Get her assessment of his condition. I will Again, do. I would plead with you, if his actions are truly driven by madness, show mercy. I don't know, man. We'll, we'll, we'll see. If you are wounded, you may take a bed in the corner. I will tend to you as soon as I can. No, we're here for Sir Hugh. I'm sorry to say that Sir Hugh's is in no condition to talk. I tried to help him, but this is simply beyond my ability to treat. It seems to be some type of curse. He came in mumbling to himself, and soon he was just... gone. No. Conscious or not, he will answer for killing the Duchess. Duchess Lacana? He said he had killed her, but I assumed he was hallucinating. He's very ill. So, you are here to place him under arrest? Even if he is guilty of such a thing, he cannot answer for it if he is catatonic. He must remain here. No, we will be the ones to decide that. I do not think you could cause his condition to be any worse. So you are welcome to do what you like. I warn you though, curses like this are very unpredictable. If you start to feel dizzy, I would suggest stepping away. Duke's marriage was a mistake. He's put us all at risk. King Faharajan is planning to invade Algair. Duchess Lakana 
is a spy. Makana has everyone fooled. She and her father are plotting against us. Duchess Lakama is orchestrating an attack on Holger. She must be stopped. The Duchess has betrayed us. I have to stop her. Whatever it takes. Okay. I know what you are planning. What are you Grace. doing here? Leave my room at once. I won't allow Alcair to fall into Redguard hands. Alcair in Redguard hands? Tears of Set. You've gone mad. I'm sorry. But this is the only way. No! Please! What have I done? Hmm. I killed her. She deserved it, didn't she? I know she did, or I think I know. Is this real? This is a dream. No. It's a never-ending nightmare, whether I sleep or not. I killed Duchess Lakana. The omen whispered in my mind, poisoning my thoughts. Now it tortures me, forcing me to watch the murder again and again. Explain this omen. The omen of fear, always with me, always whispering, telling me about the Red Guards, about Lakana. I believed it, but it was lying. I murdered an innocent woman and betrayed the Duke. Now it's hiding, but it's not gone. No racism, basically. Okay, so how can we stop it? We have to kill it. You have to kill it. My sword. In the dream, I left it in the throne room. The omen is drawn to it. Find the sword and find the omen. Okay. I can see your fear. Jeez. And that guy. You killed the omen. May the eight bless you. My mind is free, but my sins remain. Are you okay? Yes, I'm all right, but not absolved. I ordered the Knights of the Flame to rebellion. I murdered the Duchess. I betrayed the Duke. These stains on my honor cannot be washed away. Let us leave this nightmare. Let us quit this place. Sir Edmund sent for me, and I came as soon as I could. Sir Hughes does not plead for clemency, yet he says his mind was not his own. He was under the influence of a Daedra. It is dead now. As strong as my anger may be, I sense truth in your words, and some change in Sir Hughes's character. But he murdered my wife, and for that, I can find no forgiveness. Then you'll have him executed, Your Grace? He asked me to take his life and restore honor to the Knights of the Flame. 
But my emotions are too strong. I cannot trust myself to make the right decision. You were in his dream. You saw what drove him to murder. You must decide his fate. He should die for murdering an innocent woman. The the Daedra told him to do it, but he wasn't like controlled. He wasn't being, you know, it wasn't like controlling his body. And like, you know, he wasn't like possessed. He they just told him and fooled him and his own like emotions. He didn't want red guards uh ruling and whatever. He should die. He dies. Then Sir Hughes will have his wish. And Lakana will be avenged. Go ahead, Sir Edmund. Forgive me, my old friend. One clean blow. Strike swiftly now. Right. Get wrecked. Sir Edmund will stay on as leader of the Knights of the Flame. He is a good man and loyal. Though I fear I will never trust anyone fully again. And now? The honor of the Knights of the Flame has been restored, and Lakana's murderer is dead. Right. However, nothing can bring my wife back. True. Though the immediate danger is past, I fear this might be more than an isolated event. Sir Hugh's driven mad by nightmares. And I've heard the constable in Coglin Village was similarly affected. We need to know more about this so-called omen. And where will we find this knowledge? The spirit wardens of Pariah Abbey. They dabble in Daedric rituals, but they're benevolent. Speak to Brother Moron at the Abbey. Ask him if the appearance of this omen should be cause for wider concerns. If so, we should warn High King Emmerich. Okay, Pariah Abbey. We'll find uh, Moran. Nice. We really need some more skill points. I think we will get a uh, flurry or whirlwind. Hmm. I think we'll start with Flurry, and we'll put that on, uh... See how far Pariah Abbey is. Not too far. Alright, we've been running uh we've been running uh for quite some time now, so I think we're gonna end that one here and pick up very soon. And I hope you guys will join for the next one where we go to Pariah Abbey and find Moran and learn more about uh this Daedra that's controlling everyone. So Yep, hope to see you guys in the next one. Uh, take care of yourselves, take care of one another, and we will see you very soon. Courage your night out.